Hey guys, just a few tips here for those who have started playing Pal World. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get a parachute because uh, as you're exploring in this game, you're going to want to get a, a parachute in case you fall off a cliff or something. And this is at level five. You can get the technology. And if you do fall, then you just press the jump button and you're going to fall down to safety. The other pretty important technology is a flying mount for exploring and you're gonna get this at level 15 it's the saddle for the nightwing um, to get this though you're gonna have to capture a nightwing first so make sure you can capture that before you reach level 15 and at level 15 you can get the saddle which is gonna give you probably your first flying mount of the game uh, the nightwing is pretty easy to spot if you're exploring and this guy flies pretty high and you get to see basically the entire map, the Elden Ring tree over there, the uh, throat of the world back there. And um, what's cool is if you lose all your stamina and fall to the ground, you won't take any damage. Another really cool pet at the beginning of the game is a dire wolf. These guys are really fast on land. Uh, one of my favorite um, exploring animals, especially if you don't want to fly around and Flying is actually pretty slow with the Nightwing, uh, but with this Dire Wolf, you're gonna travel really fast. And um, he has like three attacks, which is pretty good. Each of your pets have uh, special attacks that uh, you can use when you're riding them. And uh, this one has a dash and it's uh, pretty powerful. So yeah, get yourself a Dire Wolf if you can at the beginning of the game, really fast and um, really good exploring mount. On top of that, if you get lucky enough to get a, a special ability one, like this one has the runner ability on it, then uh, you'll be even 20% faster. Let's go to base building. First thing you want to do is probably build a little cabin like this one out of wood with a bed uh, for you to sleep in at night and maybe a fireplace so that you don't get cold. And you're going to want to build some beds for all the uh, pals that are going to be helping you on your base and you're going to want to have a stone and a wood uh, farm to get those two resources the most important is going to be food to feed your pals so you're going to have to build some farm and some baskets for them to go feed themselves in when they get hungry and also little playpen here and a little bonus tip if you want to make gold Put these black cats in here and they're gonna poop out gold for you every time you come back to base you're gonna find a bunch of little bags full of gold and obviously i get raided during my playthrough so yeah your base can get raided from enemy attacks it's not that bad so for the grazing pen you're looking for this icon here kind of looks like a tic-tac-toe cross um, any pal that has that icon when you put them in your base like this cat here, it's gonna run straight for that pen and it's gonna start doing its job. So some of them are gonna give you wool. Some of them might even give you arrows. Uh, try out different animals. I like this one, it gives me gold so I can go buy a bunch of stuff when I reach the merchant. Uh, got only like 400 gold just coming back to base. It's uh, really helpful if you put a box next to them. They'll also sometimes put it in the box for you and uh, you get some extra gold in there. So there's a tip on how to get gold. Also in your base at night, you wanna build a few campfires in locations that are probably not lit properly and uh, it's kinda hard to see what's happening in your base. So campfires give actually a pretty decent amount of light. So with like maybe five camp uh, fires around your base, you're gonna light up your, uh, your entire base and it's gonna be nice and cozy at night so yeah it's like two wood or three wood for a campfire and uh, it's the best way to light up everything speaking of fire uh, if you have these egg incubators which is where basically you put your eggs in and then they become your pals or your pets if they're next to fire they're gonna incubate a bit faster because uh, warmth actually helps eggs grow or hatch I should say and uh, yeah, so put some fire next to them and you'll see like incubation speed. It's going to get kind of like a bonus, maybe 50%, maybe 100% if you have like a lot of fire. Um, but yeah, 
Another cool tip is if you have food in a, a cooking pot or in a campfire or something and you don't need it, leave it there because it's not going to rot until you pick it up and it's not going to burn until you pick it up. So that's a, a good way of storing food. Just don't pick it up and leave it in the pot. If you're looking for a good spot to build a base, uh, inside the middle of this red area where there's all the red trees and yellow trees, uh, that's a really nice flat area, really good spot there. And another one is on the uh, left side of the fish head over here at the tip of this mountain here. This one's really good. Uh, this could be your secondary base and it could be a mining base to get ingots. So I'm going to fast travel there and show you there's a lot of iron or um, which one's this I think it's bronze it doesn't matter it's just gonna give you a lot of ingots a lot of those stones so build a base here make sure you have a farm to feed your pets and you could put like three smelters over here and uh, just uh, go to town mining those ores put like 10 in each of these smelters at a time and uh, have three fire pets in your base making sure that they're always making ingots and uh, yeah you won't run out of ingots if you make a base at this location another tip is at night um, if you can if you have the resources which per pretty easy all you need is like wool and wood is build a makeshift shack and uh, all you need for this is a floor a wall a roof and a bed and it's uh, super easy materials to get when you're out there exploring and what's nice about this is that it not only does it make you like skip the night um, it also heals all of your pets and having a fire pet also lights up the uh, the surrounding area so that's always good to have but once you sleep you're gonna see that it's gonna automatically skip the night and you'll be full health but not only you but even your pets are gonna I'll be full health and recovered so uh, yeah if you're traveling build a little shack like that and leave it there who knows you might need it next time you're in this area also when you meet a merchant you can attack him if you want to um, apparently you can even try catching them so I'm gonna use some yellow legendary balls here uh, at the start of the game you'll have blue ones then you'll move up to green and then yellow I'm trying to use legendary balls on this a merchant but it's also only giving five percent or six percent capture chance it's really really rare but if you do catch one you'll be able to put him in your base and then you'll have a merchant in your base uh forever which is really cool they're just really hard to catch so i'm just gonna kill him see what we get and when you kill a merchant you get a lot of gold i got 500 gold off of him and uh, the only thing that it's gonna do is trigger a wanted so you'll be a criminal for a while and there's going to be a bunch of like cops that are going to show up kind of like Grand Theft Auto kind of style. Um, sometimes at your base, you got to be a little bit tough with your, your with your pets. You know, like look what's happening here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, I'm, I'm watching them from far like a true foreman does. I don't know. Pengi is going over there. They're just they're just picking up rocks and dropping them like they're pretending they're working and that they have these bright ideas of not of slacking off like that and i'm not gonna have any of that that's not gonna happen on my watch not on my base i am a slave driver actually so um i'm gonna go confront them yo pengi what are you doing yeah that's right get back to work what about you huh what are you doing oh you feel sorry for what you did go back to work i tell you man you can't get good to work these days Anyways, if you like my video, make sure to like and subscribe. This is volume one. I'm going to do volume two as I play along and get more ideas and tips and I'll share them with you. Thanks for watching.